Okay, so having a strange problem here. Um, let's get these two multimeters set up so we can see them. All right, so let's get this one out of the way here. I have this um, board here, and I, yesterday I was trying to uh, test some of these resistor values, uh, surface mount board, and um, I was having a problem. I was using this uh, UEI DM397 here. Um, not my favorite multimeter in the world. Um, I was given it as a gift, uh, and I'm not going to complain. It's a 50,000 count. Uh, pretty decent. I mean, I don't know how cheap you can buy these for, but you know, if you go to their website, it's 300 bucks or something like that. And uh, being 50,000 count, it has a lot of digits. And I think it's pretty accurate. It has a min-max relative, uh, one millisecond peak. has some interesting modes. And, oh, a memory mode. And well, it has it's decent capabilities. Actually, you are listed as well uh, with the number and everything here. So, um, anyhow. Um, so, check out... Uh, well, here. And then uh, here's a Unity uh, UT61E. So, let's just, uh, let's just give this a t test here. Okay, so I'm just going to measure in circuit some of these resistors here. Let's take a look. Alright. 10K. Perfect. Let's try this one here. Oops. Got to poke through the crap. 10K. Let's see, I turned. These are some larger ones here, which I don't remember what they are. 1K. Okay. Couple one k. There's like a six one k's on here. Okay, so that's working normally, as it should. Um, so let's let's uh, give this one a try here. Same leads. I'm sorry, this thing has a really hard to read screen. Let's turn the light on. Oh, that doesn't help at all. All right, well, that's as good as it's gonna get. So we're in resistor mode. Um. It, it's in auto ranging and everything. Um, here, let's just uh, short the leads together. Yep, there we go. Zero, well, 1.3 ohms. All right, so we let go of that. Oh, and it's doing it already. This is what it does trying to measure the resistors. What is it doing? I don't know. Uh, I think if I, okay, I put that into capacitor mode. Let's go back to ohms. All right, so let's try Let's try to measure one of these 1Ks here. Okay, there it is, 1K. This thing is quite slow, the auto ranging, that's one of the negatives, but as you can see, it's nice to have uh, four digits there, but I, I have no idea how accurate this thing is. Anyhow, that's working, but look what happens as soon as I let go. Wh what is it doing? What is this? Short the leads together. It works. There, it went back down to. Let me just kill this bug over here. Oh, he's dead. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just I've never seen a problem like this. I mean, what the hell is it doing? And all right, so it should be back to overflow. Okay, there we go. So that was the 1Ks. Let, let's try and do one of these 10Ks here. through so I can't actually measure the 10k resistors it just does this weird flip-flop thing I, I have no idea I mean and it, as soon as I it just won't go away so it's really weird I mean let's try setting the range manual okay so that's kill ohms manual mode it's like something's wrong with the auto ranging. It's very strange. Let's try this again. There, 1K. So, okay, it's working there. Let's try the 10K. Uh, is this 10K? Yeah, this is a 10K. Hmm, 10K is not, not reading at all. I'm definitely using the tips. <laughs> okay, maybe that's the right setting. I think the maximum is 5K in the range I had it on. No. I don't know what's going on now. 
I'm sure this could be a user error, I guess, but it doesn't seem to read anything. Like if I short the leads together too, nothing, nothing's happening. But anyways, um, all right, let's just try one more time here. Okay, shorting the leads together works. Okay, 10K. Not a lot of uh, digits there. Okay, so I don't really know what's happening here. Mega ohms, ohms, and kilo ohms. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the setting that should work. I think there's a there's a there's got to be something wrong with the multimeter because look how it's reading zero, zero ohms. I mean, it should be overflow. So. I'm assuming what's happening is when the auto range hits this range, which is the one I should be using to read the the 10K, nothing. So I guess something's broken inside this multimeter. <laughs> I just realized that now. Um, because clearly you shouldn't be reading zero ohms when nothing's connected. And believe me, I did not stress test this like by putting high voltage transients into it. This is just something wrong with the multimeter. Well, I'll be darn. And that's probably why the, it goes crazy with the auto ranging. What a junky multimeter. I haven't even had this very long and I hardly even use it. I think I'm still on the original batteries that I got with this thing. So who knows if this, how accurate this is, I don't know. I mean, the, the biggest negative, if you're thinking of buying this um, meter, is when you turn it on the volts, it always defaults to AC. I mean, I guess if I was an electrician, that would be fine, but who who measures AC volts um, like without fail? So you have to always turn it on to volts and then push, push this. Now, millivolt setting, though, use millivolts will actually default to DC. So that volt, that's DC millivolts. Lots of digits, that's nice. But AC, and with the hertz on the secondary display. I mean, yeah, that's handy. If you're measuring AC current or voltage all the time, but you always gotta hit DC, so that's frustrating. Uh, hertz and duty cycle, and that's nice, and it has the milliseconds. Um, ohms, uh, continuity and capacitor, diode check with the diode check. Uh, let's see what the voltage is on the diode check because I don't think it's very good. Like it definitely, I mean, it tests um, you know, regular typical diodes without any issue. But uh, let's see. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, to, to. Where's the... Oh, gosh. Sorry, I have all these test leads, but they are all buried in this drawer here. Here we go. Oh, these are pretty good. Oh, I'm not using these ones. Okay, so let's just uh, see. Let's see what this... Uh, the voltage is on this thing. Hmm, 2.9 actually. That's uh, more than I thought. Interesting. It, it is not able to, uh, basically doesn't hardly, it works with LEDs, but just barely um, doing the diode test. Uh, it lights up like a red and green, but it's so dim. And any kind of like, uh, well obviously a three volt LED is not gonna work. So anyways, no, no big deal. So that's, and it has temperature. Um, input which is nice uh, although it's uh, it sells in Celsius it doesn't appear to be any way oh yeah you do set to change it to Fahrenheit um, and then um, and then we basically have current here amps and milliamps and we have microamps so it has a microamps um, setting hmm. that's interesting it's saying the fuse is bad uh, no there we go it <laughs> yeah I think that's what it does when you don't have the lead connected. Let's try again. Oh gosh, I can't get these out. Yeah, when you don't have the lead in, instead of saying connector error, 
<laughs> it basically says the fuse is bad. Uh, so anyhow, that's a little mm, AC, AC, and DC. So it has a couple different modes, which is nice. And amps, and um, this is the same problem. That just beeped that time. Oh, there we go, fuse. Mm -hmm. Put that back in. Okay, so that's working. So anyhow, yeah, uh, that's uh, really, really frustrating. Oh, look, it says lead now. How nice. And if I uh, change the range, zero ohms. What? What? What crap? I swear! What junk? Guess I gotta open it up and see what's wrong. But I mean, what a pile! What a pile! It's a, it's a, I mean, there's a lot of features on here, but honestly. Unity. This was like $48. This thing is worth so much more, yet I just don't trust it. I mean, the screen, while it has a backlight, look at the, you know, yeah, sure, it's not a great angle, but at least the Unity, you can still kind of see it. This thing, this is a stupid green color screen, and the backlight works, but it's faint, faint as anything. And I mean, I could see it at least with my eyes, but it turns off very quickly as well. And there's no way to adjust it. This has a menu you can disable the auto power off and stuff. You can turn off the beeping if you want, but you cannot change. I think you can change the length of the the light, but freaking the 60 seconds I think is the most. It's just what a oh. All right. Anyhow, sorry you see my rant here. Um, all I can say is that busted. Busted multimeter. Fantastic!